Hello and welcome to On The Tech. Today I'll be showing you how to do a gunshot using mainly Windows Movie Maker which is a very simple and free video editing software. So there are some things you'll need for this gunshot effect. First of all obviously you'll need A. A camera. B. A gun. Now it doesn't matter how realistic it is well it depends what you're using it for. If you're using it for a film like a low budget film, first film you're making then you probably want a realistic gun unlike mine. Mine is just a PlayStation 2 gun but I'm just using it as an example. You can use whatever you like and see Windows Movie Maker. Now as well as that you will need probably an image manipulator and internet access so the kind of effect you'll be making is something like this so there we go so you'll be making something like that now to do this first of all you need to get your gun and you actually need to make the footage so you take a video and what you do is when you take the video of your gunshot but without the actual flash or sound you press the trigger and just after you press the trigger you kind of do a movement that goes quickly upwards and gently downwards but far so something like that um, that wasn't very good but it doesn't matter too much because the gunshot will, re will look realistic in its own right because of the flash and the bang and everything like that. So once you've taken your footage you want to put it on a computer and import it to Windows Movie Maker and then I'll show you what to do once you've done that. So once you've opened up Windows Movie Maker you want to import the video you've just taken but without the gunshot effect and what you want to do is you want to get to the frame just before you move the gun upwards and you use the small arrows next to the play button so that is the frame just before I do the shot so then You want to go to Tools, Take Picture from Preview, sixth one, da sixth one down, Take Picture from Preview. And then you just save it there. So now you want to go to a image manipulator, you can use something you can use something professional such as Photoshop or something even as simple as paint. Um, in this particular case I'll be using GIMP as in my opinion it's probably the best free image manipulator and you want to open up the image And there it is. So there's the picture. You may want to zoom in. So now you want to go on an internet browser such as Internet Explorer, Mozilla, Firefox, Safari, um, whatever you use. In this particular case, I'll be using Google Chrome. And you want to go on Google or a search engine and find a picture of a gunshot or something like that. Like a gunshot flash muzzle effect. And then you want to go back onto your gunshot. 
No, no, you want to open up another file, another document in your image manipulator and you want to paste it on there. Now from here you can either you you can either crop or what I like to do is use a different tool. I like no, you can either crop like magnetically and use the magnetic tool or you can do it um, free select so I'm actually going to be doing it free select because it's quicker and you can do a f you can do feathered edges So you want to copy it and paste it onto the picture of the preview. Um, first of all we need to resize that, that's much too big. You also want to flip it as it's actually shooting the wrong way. So. There we go, and actually I think it still needs some resizing. Still need, it's still a bit too big. Sorry, I'm just messing about. Uh, so, it doesn't look very professional um, in this case, but once you add it to the video, hopefully it will look better. But I'm obviously doing this quickly, and you can spend time on yours, editing it and things. So then you want to save it. Um... I'm just going to call it gun effect and then the file type so by extension I would recommend saving it as a PNG yeah so PNG save save and so there we go so now if we go back to Windows Movie Maker You want to split the frame in which you took a picture of to edit. So I'm just going to split. And now zoom in a lot. So you click the zoom timeline in. Plus down there. Now you want to import media. Import the image you just took. You just edited rather. gun effect and now insert it within the cut image and now make it so it only plays that particular image for a split second that's not short enough so, as that is playing, at the point in which it shows the edited picture, you want to, from the internet or somewhere, find a gunshot sound effect. So this is what I've done. I'm going to place it onto the video.
So you want to mess around with the editing software on Windows Movie Maker. So you want the picture shown for just a split second and the sound effect to go as soon as the edited picture comes up. So it looks something like I showed in the beginning of the video. So look back at the beginning of the video to see the result. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe and goodbye.